there, my name is Zara. I'm 11 years old. I was born in Singapore and lived there for most of my life. While living there, I never found a piece of rubbish outside of the trash can. I've traveled to Karachi lots of times, since that is where my parents were born, and most of my family lives there as well. From what I have seen over there, Karachi is quite polluted compared to Singapore. Now I live in Germany. Germany is almost as clean as Singapore is. Germany has a very high recycling rate of 67%. This must have to do with the fact that there are trash cans for each type of material. This is good because the waste is already sorted from the moment that it is thrown into the bin. I decided to inquire more about Singapore's waste management. How is Singapore so glistening clean? How do they do it? Singapore is a tiny red dot on the world map with a population of almost 6 million people. Only three decades ago, this metropolitan city was at risk of sinking in its own waste. A few years ago, Singapore River and the Kalang Basin got extremely dirty. So, between the years of 1977 and 1987, they did a massive cleanup for both of these rivers. They did physical cleaning of the heavy polluted rivers, and this massive exercise also involved the removal of various sources of pollution. In 2014, statistics show that each person was generating 1,370 kilograms of waste per year. That's equal to 7 million tons of total plastic waste. However, 60% of the waste was recycled and the remaining 38% was incinerated and burned at 1,000 degrees Celsius. The energy generated from the incineration plant is used to light up the whole city. Only 2% of the waste went to landfill. Let's compare Singapore to other metropolitan cities in Southeast Asia with a similar sized population. Manila is the capital of the Philippines. Solid waste management is a major problem in the Philippines, especially in cities like Manila. This city generates 10,000 tons of waste per day. This amount of waste that they generate is estimated to triple by 2030. 85% of the waste ends up in landfills. The rest of the rubbish mostly ends up in rivers. In Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, 76% of waste ends up in landfills or in the environment. Jakarta has one major landfill where 6,000 tons of waste ends up every day. But so much waste ending up in landfills or in the environment is just not the best solution to this problem. Bad waste management clogs up waterways, contaminates soil, and causes harm to animals and humans. It leads to deforestation and can be breeding the ground for disease and epidemics. It is estimated that the amount of waste generated by humans will triple from 1.3 billion tons to 4 billion tons. And you just heard me correctly. I just said 4 billion tons by 2100. The Earth? does not have infinite resources to go around. To accommodate to a growing population, big metropolitan cities around the world, especially in developing countries, will have to adopt to more sustainable waste management practices like Singapore. Some ways that cities of the future, and even you guys can help with this, is to one, use incineration plants to burn all the waste, two, reduce reuse, recycle, and lastly, say no to single-use plastic because there's not really a point of using a product made out of plastic once and then throwing it away. Thank you for listening to my speech.